In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this great mystery of love, let's recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess, Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting, prayer, and almsgiving have shown us a remedy for our sins, look graciously on this confession of our lowliness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy and bear much fruit as desired by you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was looking after the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, priest of Media. He led his flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to the Hereb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in the shape of a flame of fire. Coming from the middle of a bush, Moses looked. There was the bush blazing, but it was not being burnt up. I must go and look at this strange sight, Moses said, and see why the bush is not burnt. Now the Lord saw him going forward to look, and God called to him from the middle of the bush, Moses, Moses, he said, here I am, he answered, come no near, he said, take off your shoes, from the place of which you stand is holy ground, I am the God of your father, he said, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses covered his face, afraid to look at God. And the Lord said, I have seen the miserable state of my people in the Egypt. I have heard their appeal to be free of their slave drivers. Yes, I am well aware of their sufferings. I mean to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians and bring them up out of the land to a land rich and broad, a land where milk and honey flow. Then Moses said to God, I am to go then to the sons of Israel and ask and say to them, the God of my, your fathers, has sent me to you, but if they ask me what is his name, what his name is, 
what I am I tell them. And God said to Moses, I am who I am. This he added, is what you must say to the sons of Israel. The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name for all time, but this name I shall be invoked for all generations to come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, all my being. Bless his holy name. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, and never forget all his blessings. It is he who gives all your glory, who heals every one of your hills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The Lord does deeds of justice, give judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to Israel's sons. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. For as the heavens and the high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. From the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I want to remind you, brothers, how our fathers were all guided by a cloud above them, and how they all passed through the sea. They were all baptized into Moses in this cloud and in this sea. All ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink. Since they all drank from the spiritual rock that followed them as they went, and that rock was Christ. In spite of this, most of them failed to please God, and their corpses littered the desert. These things all happened as warnings for us, not to have the wicked lust for forbidden things that they had. You must never complain. Some of them did, and they were killed by the destroyer. All this happened to them as a warning, and it was written down to be a lesson for us who are living at the end of the age. The man who thinks he is safe must be careful that he does not fall. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. says the Lord, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. The 
Lord be with you. And in your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13, verses 1 to 9. Some people arrived and told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with that of their sacrifices. At this, he, Jesus said to them, Do you suppose these Galileans who suffered like that were greater sinners than any other Galilean? They were not, I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those eighteen on whom the tower at Siloam fell and killed them, do you suppose that they were more guilty than all the other people living in Jerusalem? They were not. I tell you, no. But unless you repent, and you will all perish as they did. He told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it, but found none. He said to the man, who looked after the vineyard, look here, for three years now I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and finding none. Cut it down. Why should it be taking up the ground? Sir, the man replied, leave it one more year and give me time to dig around it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. With the reverence in God's holy presence, let us call upon His power to help and save His people. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may daily nourish all the baptized with the spiritual food and drink of his word and sacraments, so that their lives may bear fruit in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may aid with his justice all those oppressed by war, famine, and exploitation, especially in Ukraine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may strengthen all those who offer spiritual or physical care to the sick and suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may prune us through our Lenten prayer and penance from all that hinders our spiritual growth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may show his loving compassion to the faithful departed and forgive all their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. God of holiness and power, grant to your people true conversion of heart that what we seek with humble prayer, we may receive through your loving mercy, through Christ our Lord.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God Almighty, Father, in the of sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the all God's holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with these sacrificial offerings, and grant that we who beseech pardon of our own sins may take care to forgive our neighbors through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affection, they, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure and bear fruit that is appropriate to the grace that's given to them. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end. We acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the friends of Pope, Paul, our bishop, and all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, as chaste spouse, blessed passes, Saint Paul, our patron, Saint Francis, Saint Clare, Saint Pio, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced in life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. With the kingdom of our the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her unto our homes and to our hearts the peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you. of God, behold him who takes the wisdom of the world. This is he who spares us from the anger of God by pleading for us a POV who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul shall be My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her young by your altar. 
O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they who dwell in your house forever singing your praise. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of things you yet hidden in heaven and are nourished to while still on earth with the bread of bread that comes from on high, we humbly entreat you, O Lord, that what is being brought about in us in mystery may come to true completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.